always been fascinated with text and fonts and this is kind of a collection of, of that. This wall is things that I would work on as I was working on the bigger pieces. Things that I didn't have to be too serious about, didn't have to judge the ideas or kind of make sure they're perfect. I could just have an idea and make it. I don't know, it just made sense to me. I don't know where the, where they come, where the words come from. It just, it, it comes kind of like immediately and I just go with it. These are prints from a magazine that I had in my studio. I had duplicates of old 80s magazines. So I think this is from a Life or a Time magazine. I was able to use the, another sheet to give it the, the floating text. With this deer head, I use a blowtorch to burn in, into it. It's made of wood and it says, fuck the NRA with a sacred heart tattoo and the two uh, birds kind of holding this fuck the NRA banner. It's got a busted, uh, Antler, he's got the teardrop tattoo because of his buddy getting killed. I've always loved the, the way Deerhead looks on the wall until I really thought about what it was and had consciousness and then I fucking hated it. So this was kind of my response and answer to that. So I had a couple identical chairs in my studio that I found on the street, just looking at it one day and I saw the potential that like, within it there are letters that I could use to spell chair. You know, every piece is from, from the actual chair. So it's an addition of two because of the two chairs. You know, when you're working, you're just kind of observing everything. And then I saw the electrical cord something that you see every day and started to rethink what it can be. And uh, just wanted to use the most simple medium that I could, just stuff that was there. You know, a simple MDF panel, a light bulb and the, and the, uh, and the cord. And to me, it was a bright idea, so hence the name. like a response to, to mental illness and uh, depression. And then when things get difficult and get hard, you express it and, so, and people will just be like, you know, just hang in there, man. Like pat you on the shoulder, like hang in there. Like this is how you feel. And yet this is the response. And it's, sometimes it's, it's not taken as seriously as it should be. I had the idea for saint with, with, the, with the apostrophe, like ain't a, ain't a saint idea. And I had the font and had, had that, that idea and knew that stained glass would be the perfect medium to do it in, but having never done it. So I met Mark Tuna at Glass Visions in Los Angeles and he offered to, to kind of help, help me make it and teach me how to do it. So I cut about 80% of the glass you know, he, he led it for me. It was a really interesting process, including the painted pieces. And in line with the hang in there, the depression, the mental illness that exists, um, you realize how fragile you are. And, you know, just having shipping crates around the studio, you kind of, you know, I wanted to see how can I make this, how can I make the wood, you know, light up? 
reminder. So enjoy it. <laughs>